everyone a little extra excitement for you tonight it's the first game of the nba cup i'm brian anderson here with grant hill and stan van gundy and with us on the sidelines we've got ali the force all right a chance to check out stats for donovan mitchell and over the last five games his field goal percentage has increased and you can make a case his confidence as well because of this and the starting group for Chicago. Levine and Williams are the two forwards. Then there's Nikola Vucevic. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's prime time in at the one. And for the Cavaliers, Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. Dean Wade is out there with Jared Allen. And it's Okoro in at the small forward. And here we are for game one of the NBA Cup. This game will count both towards group play as well as the regular season standings. Yeah, and it's really important to start off with a win. Only eight teams advanced to the elimination round, so there's not a lot of room for failure in this group stage. It'll be the Cavaliers off the tip. Well, guys, you can't look at this team and not get into the topic of MP. He's been a very vocal and driving force for his squad, and he's made it known that he's got his sights set on winning the NBA Cup this season. You gotta love how that just ramps up his teammates, the coaching staff, and even us at the broadcast table. But seriously, I'm gonna be looking at how tough each of these group stage games are for MP. He and his guys aren't the only team with their sights set on the NBA Cup this season. All right, let's throw it over to Allie, who has a report on MP. Hey, BA, well, no surprise, MP is on a mission to bring home the NBA Cup, telling me I wanna be a part of a winning legacy. That's my main goal in any competition I'm in. Victories come first. All that individual stuff comes later. Would you expect anything less from MP, Brian? Nope, we sure wouldn't. And this guy is all in. Well, that's a very early foul for him. Needs to be more careful and not pick up a second one this court. About a minute into this first quarter, outside Giddy. Six on the shot clock. We talk so much about Mitchell's offense, but he can be a lockdown defender as well. Okoro outside. Giddy against Mitchell. Here's Wade. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Almost two minutes into the first here. Pass to Vucevic. Here's prime time. It's stolen by Garland. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Shoots over Levine. Hits the front of the rim and out. Here's prime time. Last game, he had 28 points. And the power finished by Vucevic. Can't be too surprised by this. Vucevic got the room, and he went to work. Now Mitchell. Last game with 30. Allen on the wing. Puts it up from 17, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Nice, confident stroke from Mitchell, setting an example for his guys. And we'll have a timeout called by Billy Donovan. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over.
NBA leaderboard shining a light on the league's best three-point shooting teams of late. Number five, the Bulls. Well, this has been a hot three-point shooting team, and it starts with their passing, moving the ball to get quality looks. Giddy passes to primetime. Banked it in off the glass. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Garland, the pass to Allen. Outside Mitchell. Garland for three. Connects from downtown. When Garland finds a three-point shot, he takes it. Supremely confident in his abilities. And we know Donovan Mitchell is a superb scorer. But Grant, what do you think he's focused on at this point of his career? Well, B.A., it's all about championships for him. This is a guy that doesn't just want to be seen as an elite player. He really wants to compete for titles, too. And it's Giddy missing. Well, the defense got lucky there. More often than not, he's making that shot. Okoro passes to Wade. Down low. Here's Garland. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got four rebounds now. Here's Williams. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to talk with Kenny Atkinson for a minute, and one of their main defensive focuses, Nikola Vucevic. Coach telling me that Vuce has the big body, plus he can really shoot it, but they really emphasized boxing him out. Nicola is great at converting misses into second chance points. Boxing out. It's back to the basics, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. And here are the Cavaliers now. Chicago making their last shot. Here's Wade. He buries it from three. Wade's got six. Well, it's a three-point shooting league. Guys like him are so important for space. Pass to Levine. He shoots. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, it was a great look. Sometimes they don't fall. You've just got to keep taking great shots. Here's Wade. He has six. Here's Okoro. He's covered by Levine. Here's Garland. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Yeah, he hasn't been at his best this quarter. I'd like to see him be a little more patient. Can't connect from short range. Well, the defense was right where they needed to be to stop the layup. Great awareness and effort. And it's Allen who slams it home. Getting established positioning inside. Once Allen has this, he is a threat to score. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's primetime, guarded by Garland. Outside Giddy. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Here's Levine for three. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. A well-practiced shooter. Levine has complete confidence in his shooting motion. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. There's the three. They get it again. They shoot again. Garland, no good. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to shoot his way out of this one or not. Hey, Prime time passes to Vucevic. And here's Giddy. Williams, a screen on Mitchell from deep. Giddy, here's prime time. And we'll have a timeout call by Billy Donovan. He wants a few moments to regroup with his players. And when it comes to establishing rotations at this stage, Stan, what's something you're zeroing in on? Well, you're just trying to figure out which lineups work the best together and trying to develop not necessarily a starting lineup, but a rotation that works for you and especially trying to determine what's your closing lineup. When it's on the line, who do you want to go to?
improved substitution here for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Niang comes in for Wade. Struess, he's checked in for Okoro. And Karis Levert is subbed in for Mitchell. Garland and a new group getting ready for Chicago. Turn this around, kid. On the wing, Mitchell. An effective score for them, scoring around 21 and a half points a game. And standing just six foot one. Amazing how effective Mitchell is attacking the paint. And for Chicago, let's take a look. They've got Desumu, Zach Levine out there with Torrey Craig. Then there's Nikola Vucevic, and it's prime time in at the point guard position. Now here's Vucevic, and Max Struess picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Merrill, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Coming off the floor for your Cavaliers. Number five. Here's Primetime. Sinks that one from the post. Primetime's got his third bucket of the night. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Yeah, you've got to lock and trail hard. You can't allow him a clean look. Niang, he drops it from range. Niang's got seven now in this quarter. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Chicago. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Houston Rockets. Then on Monday, they head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. Checking out their schedule, they've got a tough run of games coming up. But quality opponents are a great chance for you to see how well your team can truly perform. Now here's Levine. His last outing, he had 24 points. And you got to give Levine a lot of credit. He's cleaned up that jump shot since getting drafted back in 2014. Here's Levert. Nine-point game. Niang, a screen. Clock at six. Three-pointer, no good. For Chicago, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. To the inside. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Well, Levine is known for his scoring, but he's a capable passer as well. It's Levert on the wing. He's covered by Levine. Niang, pass to Struess. Misses the three. Bulls trail by seven. Pass to Vucevic. Now here's to Sumu. And it's Niang with the rebound. Wow. Missed the easy one right there. Right at the rim, but came up empty. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian Donovan Mitchell wears number 45 because that was Michael Jordan's number when he played baseball. Mitchell's father was a pro player, and Donovan said, baseball was my sport. I had my mind made up. I wanted to make the majors, but in high school, a broken wrist on the diamond caused his focus to shift. Brian, I'd say it worked out. Yeah, I'd say so. Thanks, Allie. Here's prime time. And the rebound goes to Cleveland. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. Well, on the road, your defense needs to withstand runs from the other side. And that wasn't the case for them. Now here's Levine. He's got five. Desumu outside. Vucevic, a screen on Mitchell. Desumu for three. And it's Merrill who clears it away. Cleveland leading by seven. Coach, one guy who's shown a lot of growth on the offensive side of the ball is Ayo Desumu. Yeah, it seems like the game is slowed down for him. 
And that's why everything he does looks better now. His first step, his decision-making, all of it, Brian. Now here's Craig. He's scoreless. Craig with the screen. The swim move for three. Buries it from three. Yeah, he makes it look so easy out there. The game comes naturally to him. Outside Struess. Liang, pass to Mitchell. Outside Struess, pass to Levert. Liang inside, working on Vucevic. The three from Mitchell gets the three to fall. Mitchell's got seven points in the game. Yeah, this is why defenses must be right up on Mitchell or he'll burn you off the pass. Here's primetime. Covered by Merrill. That one drops for him. Primetime's got six here in the quarter. The Cavaliers lead by five. And we've got a timeout call by Kenny Atkinson. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Grant, there's a huge difference between talent on paper versus winning. You're right, B.A., and it comes down to coaching, chemistry, and sacrifice. But I think the biggest thing is effort. All things being equal, the team that plays the hardest is going to win. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Allen, he's checked in for Niang. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Obviously, they've been locked in from range. Your confidence grows as each shot goes in. It becomes contagious. Yeah, in the second half, though, they got to mix it up a little more because those who live by the three, you know the rest. Fellas, what do you say we take a look now at the power rankings? I think for Cleveland, they're still at the bottom third of the league. Something will need to change for them to move up in the rankings. We knew this team would need time to figure things out. And we were right. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. thus far. We're halfway through the game. You look at Taylor Horton Tucker. He's been playing really well. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, he's found his spots, been patient with his shot selection, and it's paid off for himself and the team. Garland and Mitchell, the talented one and two. Jared Allen out there with Dean Wade. And it's Okoro in at the three, the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Here's Mitchell. Chicago making their last shot. Pass to Okoro. Here's Wade. Launches a three. Drills it from deep. Wade's got 11 points. Well, you know what's going to happen when he gets a good luck. The defense has got to run him off the line. Outside, Williams. Now Kitty, checked by Mitchell. Levine, feeling it out a bit. It's rebounded by Wade. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Here's primetime. Guarded by Garland. 
Outside, Williams. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Giddy missing. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. On the wing, Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Giddy from deep. Mitchell. From outside, Mitchell is good. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Bulls trail by 11. On the wing, Levine. Prime time passes to Giddy. And here's Levine. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Yeah, I question getting into Levine that much because you know he can do this to you. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Ideal modern wing. Levine has tremendous athleticism, length, a great three-point shot. He's been productive for years. Now here's Mitchell. Ten points for him. Pass to Okoro. The three is up. Doesn't go that time. Bulls trail by eight. Prime time passes to Vucevic. Levine with it. Here's Giddy. Takes the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Giddy's got the second bucket on the night. Like sometimes the threes can really boost your confidence. And I'm sure it'll do just that for Giddy. Outside Mitchell. Four three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Well, he hasn't had a great night shooting the ball, but they're in the lead, and that's the only thing that matters. Oh, good D inside, but Levine gets it through. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Outside Garland, pass to Okoro. Allen against Vucevic. And Allen gets it to go. Allen's got six. Oh, tough two from Allen. Showing his grit. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Picked by Vucevic. Here's Giddy. No good. A bit long that time. Cleveland leading by five. Outside Garland. Three-pointer. Hits a three-pointer. Give him eight. Rise and fire. I just love how assertive Garland is on offense. And Grant, when you look at Darius Garland, he has a very polished offensive game. Absolutely. He's great at creating for himself, but also knows when to get others involved. He can score from anywhere, and he works incredibly hard on his craft. Off target from three-point range. Bulls trail by six. Pass to Levine. Williams up top. Outside Giddy. Just five to shoot. Vucevic a screen on Mitchell. And it's Giddy missing. Well, I hate to say it, but he hasn't done a lot to help their cause tonight. He's been a little erratic from the floor. Here's a Coro. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to belong to Nikola Vucevic. And coach, you've been lauded by some of your former players for your pregame preparation. I've seen it myself in the broadcasting world. Well, I've also been cursed by some of those players for my pregame walkthroughs, Brian. People thought they were way too long, but I just wanted to be as prepared as possible and was one that always believed I'd rather do too much than too little. That free throw misses. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Niang's checked in. Thompson. 
Wilson. He's checked in for Jared Allen. Struess comes in for Niang. And it's Merrill in for Darius Garland. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I did listen in on Kenny Atkinson's huddle. He told them, no time to celebrate. The work is not finished. We've got to stick with it and keep growing what we've got here. Words of wisdom for his squad. Back to you. And Ali, thank you for that. On the wing, Levine. Pass to primetime. And it's Merrill who clears it away. Merrill's got his fourth rebound in this one. On the court for Chicago. Williams and Vucevic are inside. Then there's Zach Levine. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's prime time in at the point to the paint. And that one's good. Thompson. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. Nice pass inside. Making things easy for him. Pass to Vucevic. Now here's Williams. Part of Ikoro. Prime time passes to Giddy. From behind the arc. Sinks the tray. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, it's certainly worth it to disrupt the offense. Coaches notice that extra effort. Now here's Mitchell. Up top, Thompson. Kitty against Mitchell. From downtown. And it's cleared by Vucevic. And Williams has got the ball here for the Bulls. Trailing by four. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. It'll be a quick stopover at home before they have to get back out on the road. Here's prime time. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. Uh, stepping up in the big moment. I mean, an incredible job of finding his shot. Nice job taking the initiative. Coaches will encourage you to take that if you have a good look. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Look, when the three has fallen like this, there's not a whole lot you can do defensively. Now here's Giddy. Pass to primetime. From 11 feet away, it's rebounded by Cleveland. Struess has got four rebounds in the game. Outside Mitchell. Outside Struess. Now here's Merrill. The three from Mitchell. It's another three for Cleveland. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. The Bulls trail by eight. Prime time passes to Levine. Mitchell against Giddy. Oh, they get a hand on it. Struess with it. Pass to Merrill. Outside Mitchell. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Primetime. Primetime's got four rebounds now. Outside for Levine. The Bulls with another miss. Cleveland leading by eight. Merrill outside. Shoots from the elbow. Chicago with a rebound. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's prime time. That one's true. And that's nine for 12 for him now. The scoring is coming easy for him. Got to keep the ball in his hands. And Kenny Atkinson has called a timeout. He clearly wants to talk it over and make sure everyone is focused. Checked in for Thompson. Wade comes in for Struess. And Garland is subbed in for Merrill. Bulls on D. 
Six point game. Garland finds Allen. Back to Garland. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Inside, Garland outplays his size, using speed and agility to get it done. Here's prime time. Pass to Levine. It's Kitty on the wing. Checked by Mitchell. And that one's good. Kitty. And here's Garland. Outside Mitchell. Garland scanning the floor. And here's Okoro. He's covered by Levine. They set the pick. Shot clock at six. Okoro, no good. The Bulls trail by six. Outside Levine. Pass to Williams. Back to Levine. Fires from deep. And Zach Levine from deep. Those are huge points from Levine. Stepping up. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Cavaliers? Well, they've been hitting threes at a high clip, and the defense hasn't done enough to challenge them at the line. They need to close out and run them off the three. And you have to talk about the passing, too. I mean, the ball has been zipping around on the offense, and they've kept the extra pass mentality the whole way. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. On the very short list of franchise-level guards, Donovan Mitchell can take over a game with his scoring ability. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. A very successful visit to the line for him. Now, this is a two-possession game. Here's prime time. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Woo-wee! What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Yeah, what a huge dunk. Making a statement right there. Mitchell misses. The Bulls trail by three. Pass to Vucevic. There's a screen. Goes up on the wing. And he sinks it. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings him within one. Here's Mitchell. It falls. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Yeah, and I can say from experience, his coach just breathed a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from your point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? Wow, that is an impressive vertical for a point guard. My goodness. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Outside for Levine. Passes to Williams. Over Allen. Oh, off target! And so it's the Cavaliers who come out on top. And remember, tonight's win means they're 1-0 in the NBA Cup. A great start to the group stage. Well, getting that first win under your belt is huge. They still have three games left, but they're in a great position going forward. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Stan Van Gundy, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time. Welcome in to the Jalen Murphy Show. I'm your host, Jalen Murphy. I know more about sports than you do. Uh, that's debatable. Uh, watch your mouth, Russ. We've got a great show for you today, starting off with a brand new segment 
trash talk do's and don'ts. Oh, I'll start. Um, don't tell people how to trash talk when you were a seventh man with a rickety jump shot and the handle of a precocious fourth grader. Okay. <laughs> Do keep your mouth shut if you spent most of your career waving towels at the end of the bench. You know what? You've been selling me short since college, man. How about this? We could have won a championship, but you look me off to take a double team 30 footer at the buzzard, buddy. For the last time, Russell, you weren't open. I was open. Uh, I guys, was, I was open. I was uh, wide open. Uh, just, if I may, just, can I just say, wowzers. I'm so looking forward to learning from both of you. And, and more data is always important, even when it's something as unquantifiable as- Shut it, Shut it, Toby! Toby! Okay. Let's start the segment. Don't trash talk if you can't back it up. There's nothing worse than writing checks with your mouth that your game can't cash. That's what I'm saying. Not only does it make you look like a clown, but it demoralizes your teammates. You'd know all about demoralizing your teammates, wouldn't you, Russ? Oh, you would like to think so, except that my basketball skills were so um, superior to yours my entire career that you couldn't even just, hold a candle uh, to uh, me, Jalen. Uh, uh, guys, if, if I may, uh, just to put some perspective on this. There are only 525 athletes in the NBA at any given moment. And okay. FIBA estimates there are 450 million basketball players worldwide. Wow. Which means you're in the top 99.9% .9 of players by just being in the NBA alone, which that's a pretty impressive stat, Jalen. Toby. <laughs> yes? Enough. Oh. You already won the lottery by marrying my sister. There's no <laughs> need to suck up to Russell like this. It's unseemly. I'm not sucking up. I don't, I just, I want to make sure everyone feels like they have value and I'm just following the data and seeing where the facts lead. You know what? Shut it, it, Toby. Toby. Okay. Do keep your trash talk about the game. We're all competitors here, but there's no need to bring up family, friends, or physical attributes. In other words, Show some class. Jalen, you literally just brought up my wife. Yes, Toby, but I did it with class. And besides, this is television, not basketball. Anything goes. Sometimes the shots